Hi, I'm going to be doing a series of short videos uh, going over what kind of things that the mini mill can cut. Uh, I'm going to be starting off with a uh, type of plastic Delrin and then after that I'm going to be going up to like um, wood, um, aluminum of course, uh, mild steel, uh, 4140, stainless steel and go all the way up to titanium see what it can cut. Alright, uh, first off we're going to try uh, some Delrin and uh, let's get set up and start cutting. Okay, so we're going to try the first cut. We're just kind of experimenting here, not doing any exact uh, size or depth of cut, but we're going about maybe a quarter of an inch uh, depth of cut, uh, about a quarter of an inch uh, in. So uh, this is with a four flute carbide end mill. And uh, let's see what kind of uh, kind of finish we can get. Just as uh, first experimental cut. And Take that out. See what kind of finish we got on that. Uh, most of the stuff that I uh, had read about milling Delrin was uh, said to use uh, an air compressor. I don't have one set up at the moment. Um, but as you can see, um, got a pretty, pretty good finish. Um, and uh, didn't really melt or anything. I was taking it at a pretty low speed. Uh, so I guess I'll, uh, I'll set it up and see we'll, if we can do anything uh, a little more aggressive and see what kind of uh, finish we can get of something a little faster. Okay, this time we're going to do a uh, full width of cut of the cutter of course it's uh, 3 8 and we're gonna go approximately 3 8 depth of cut uh, we'll just take it at the same speed it seemed to have a fairly good finish at that speed so Okay, well it was chattering a little bit there that time, so uh, it didn't bog it down too much, but uh, uh, still the finish, I mean it's not a perfect finish, it's still a little rough in there, um, but uh, uh, the bottom, yeah, it's a little rough, um, but you can see it took off uh, didn't melt or anything, and I haven't been using an air compressor. Of course, we're not really asking it to work too hard with that cut, but uh, well, let's see what we can do next. Okay, this time we're gonna do it at a different angle here and uh, a little closer, closer up view there. Uh, this time I'm just gonna take it at. Uh, about a quarter of an inch depth of cut and width of cut uh, except this time we're going to go back through and try to do a finish pass and see what kind of uh, cleanup we can get on it
Okay, well, I can definitely say that uh, this mill definitely likes uh, about a quarter of an inch, a lot more than it does three eighths. Um, so it uh, cuts through kind of like butter at that depth of cut. Uh, so, all right, well, we'll just take it a hair, maybe uh, uh, five thou or something like that to try and see what kind of finishing pass we can get on this. Um, Alright. That is very smooth. Uh, if I can, kind of hard to tell with uh, white Delrin, but let's see if I can get the camera in there a little better. But uh, yeah, I guess white Delrin's not the uh, best choice of uh, filming, but. Uh, I guess you just have to take my word for it that it is very, very smooth. Like that, so. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do next. Okay, on this one, we're gonna do a slot. We're gonna plunge uh, down to maybe a quarter of an inch. Uh, and obviously, it's gonna be full width of cut because uh, it's gonna be three eighths and uh, see how it handles at a uh, quarter inch. All right? Again, we'll run it around 800. Run it around 800. Alright, well at about a quarter inch depth of cut, three eighths wide of course. Uh, it cut through it really, really easy. Uh, the finish on the bottom is really, really good too. Uh, very smooth. 
kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's pretty nice on the edges there. Um, so, uh, from what I can see so far, is uh, this mini mill cuts it really, really, really easy. Uh, the stuff that I read on uh, about, of course, I'm haven't really milled uh, plastic that much, but it seems to be really, really easy to mill on here. Uh, I know some of the stuff said uh, you'd be better off using a two flute or three flute or one flute end mill, uh, but this four flute seems to be doing uh, uh, quite well. So, all right, that was nothing scientific, obviously, but uh, I was just kind of playing around with it to see what kind of uh, cut we can get on it, uh, what kind of finish, and I don't know, to me it looked like it did pretty good. Uh, all right, so uh, in the next video that I make, I'm going to be going over uh, oak. I'm going to be making some cuts in oak similar to that to see what kind of uh, finish we can get, you know, what it looks like, uh, what kind of depth of cut we can get on it, um, and... Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, check out my next video, and uh, if you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up, and, and subscribe. Alright, bye.